Hi guys, what's up? Alright, so today I am going to be reviewing something that I don't know how it was like an off website that was um, selling e liquid that was like discounted e liquid. Um, I don't even remember where I got it from, but I can't post links anyway, so you'll have to Google it anyways so um anyways i'm gonna start with this one and i've actually tried these before um and it's one of the reviews that got lost in a restore on a computer um because i'd already done the review on it but didn't get it uploaded so re-reviewing um so i have tried these before and they're actually not bad um, but I'll get into that when I, you know, do the review. They were like, I think 120 mils for like five bucks each. I mean, I couldn't pass up that deal. I mean, even if they didn't have flavor, I mean, just the nicotine alone is worth it. Um, so anyways, fresh 80, no fresh, fresh, fresh 100 burst burst all right it looks like it's going to be a peach and something well, we'll figure it out you can actually smell it through the bottle it's it's you'd be surprised how good some of this off-brand inexpensive liquid is how good it is you know some of it ain't that bad really I mean especially if you compare it to a cigarette I mean it's not the strongest flavor in the world but it's it's actually blended together pretty well um, I can definitely taste the peach, and I think that's, what is that? I don't know what that fruit is. I know it's peach and something else, but I can taste the peach, so that's good. Um, Ow. If that hit any drier, I might as well have just vaped cotton straight up. Good Lord. Woo! That's weird. No hot spots. Sorry about that. I just died a little. A little bit on the inside. I'm going to turn it. Why is it on 80 anyways? I don't even vape this thing on 80. I think it only goes up to 80. That's much better. Or should I say gooder? Either way. Yeah, that choked me up just a little bit. But I know it's like it's dripping out of the air holes. And I know I, I juiced it up pretty good. And I knew there was no reason to be getting no dry hit. And I guess... Because it's a small little single coil I put in this thing. Um, just because it makes it easier to change out the cotton and stuff when I go to do reviews. This isn't what I vape normally. I got better mods than this that I vape with. I'm sure y'all got a kick out of me. 
choking up on that, huh? Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I thought it was funny, too, and I'm the one that choked. Ah, clothes are done. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's actually pretty good. I can see myself finishing the bottle. What I, what I try to do, I don't like switching flavors out too often, having a half a bottle of this, a fourth of a bottle of that. I usually, when I start a bottle, I usually vape it until the bottle's gone, get rid of it, open a new one. Um, I can see myself vaping this whole thing, you know, without getting tired of it. It's actually pretty good. Pretty darn good. Um... God, is there anything on there that sh that says what it's supposed to taste like? I have acquired glasses. Don't I look sophisticated? I can see it's a miracle. Oh, look. Ha. Uh, a sweet and luscious candied peach treat. Oh, so I guess the whole thing is peach then. That is actually pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. And it tastes like peach. I mean, it's exactly what it's supposed to be. I mean, some of these high-end companies that manufacture this liquid, they should take notes from some of these off-brand companies, because it's actually not too shabby. Um... They do have the nicotine warning on there, so that's good. It's in a appropriate type bottle, even though I don't like them. And uh, let me let's see, I got I mean, ten out of ten on what it's supposed to taste like. I mean, it, they hit it spot on. Um, the nicotine strength is there. Um, it did steep pretty good. Um, flavor profile. Normally, this isn't in my profile, but it's really not too bad. Putting a number on it, I don't know, six or seven. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm more into custards and, you know, chocolates and things like that. Well, let me set up for the next one. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. My sophisticated glasses. Yeah. All right, this one's going to be Fresh 100 Blast. An enchanting tiger's blood with a bite of lime. You know, I've always wanted to try tiger's blood. I'm not even sure what it's supposed to taste. Let me see if I can see if there's a name of a manufacturer on here. Ah, Savage Enterprises. There you go. And I have never had a problem with them. They've always done me good. Maybe I'll see if uh, I can find them on Facebook and I'll uh, post a link to this review. You know, I don't get paid for these reviews. I just do them because I enjoy doing them. If you... Something I've learned from other YouTubers. If you do YouTube... Because you want to make money, you're going to have a miserable time. If you do it because you enjoy it, and you just happen to make money, hey, that's what's up. So this looks like it's got lime, like they said, strawberry and watermelon. The lime is very faint. I can taste the strawberry. The watermelon is also very faint. I shook it up pretty good, but that nicotine's hitting hard. Now, I, I don't know why. It's like 
sometimes I get a bottle of liquid, not necessarily from them, from like anywhere, and the nicotine just seems stronger than other bottles of liquid that I get. And if I say I want three and it's too weak, then I don't feel like I'm getting enough nicotine. If I say I want 12 and it's too weak, then it would be right. But if it's really 12 or feels like 12, I don't know. I think it's just the chemistry of the, the nicotine. You know, it is a chemical after all. This one isn't really, I like the other one better. This one's really not my flavor profile per se. But, oh yeah. Um, I don't know, probably, a, they could probably up the, mm, the coconut I can kind of taste very faintly. The watermelon, I don't even really taste the watermelon. Um, the lime, I don't even taste the lime, really. Really, to me, this just tastes like strawberry. Just saying. Um, they could probably up the strength of some of the others a little bit. And that would be good. But, yeah. I think I actually got these before they were required to put the nicotine thing on there. So, it's good that they, um preemptively, you know, did that. A little, um, update on my medical conditions. Um, I have started keto uh, about five days ago, something like that. I've already lost like a little over 20 pounds. Um, I know for a big guy like me, that's not even noticeable, but I'm telling you, I can feel it. I can feel like I've lost more than 20 pounds because I know keto protein builds muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat. So I might have actually lost more than that, but it's not really noticeable because it's the scale, the numbers, you know. Anyway, um, once I reach about 200 pounds, I'll be able to... I and mean, that's, that's about half my body weight. That's, that's 200, like 250 pounds would be almost half my body weight gone. I started at 440. That's, that's way too big. That, you know, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, sick and tired of living like this and, um, made a decision and, um, yeah, I'll be able to get this hernia fixed. Once I lose enough weight to not die on the operating table. Everybody's always so worried I'm going to die. I ain't died yet. I ain't gonna. And 700 years from now, if YouTube is still around and you're watching this video and I'm dead, you can tell me then, you know. I won't be around to hear it, but you can tell me then that I was wrong. <laughs> Pretty darn good. Um, the warmer it gets, the more sweet the strawberry comes out, it seems. Incredibly good. Um, especially coming from a company that is not that popular. Not that many people know of them as, you know, like... Fog Minion, people knew Fog Minion, you know, people knew some of these other companies really well, they were like premium, you know, things, and this is kind of like off-brand, you know, but it's so good for what it is, especially for what it is, all right, that's it, um, flavor profile, I don't know, once it heats up and I can taste the sweetness of the strawberry, I'd probably say like, um, seven or an eight, uh, probably a seven, but they could probably up the watermelon and, uh, you know, the other ingredients a little bit to make it blend together a little better. Alrighty, catch y'all on the next video. Hey guys, I completely forgot 
there is another one in that line that I did not see. Anyway, breeze. And this, with my sophisticated glasses, says, tropical medley of your favorite island fruits. Looks like apple, kiwi, pineapple. See? Pictures. And nicotine labels. Yay. You know, I, I, I want to be compliant and, and, and everything, um, which is all fine. I don't mind being compliant and, and everything, but, I mean, they're, they're calling everything, a, you know, a tobacco plant. This drip tip is a tobacco plant. If I was to do a review on this drip tip alone, um, which actually ain't too bad, but I don't remember where I got it, so I can't really review it, but... Um, if I was to do a review on this drip tip, um, I would have to have a nicotine warning, you know, saying that that is a tobacco plant. I, I just, I don't get it. I go along with it just because I kind of have to, but I, I, I don't get it. Anyways, let me set up for the review. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Oh, God. All right, just a little heads up. I, um, pineapples have, I think, it's called bromamine, which is an ingredient that's in pineapples, even the ones you eat. And um, the thing is, is normally it makes me cough my brains out. So hopefully that ain't going to happen. Okay, this is my new favorite in this line. The pineapple's there. I can taste the kiwi, but the apple is strong enough to where it drowns out that tartness that comes out of the pineapple that normally chokes me up. I don't know. It's trying. It's trying to make me choke. Different people have different quirks, you know. Some people, you know, just like taste is subjective. Everybody's, you know, different. And, you know, some people are allergic to propylene glycol. Some people are allergic to different things. Some people have tolerances for certain things. Some people don't. I am not a very big pineapple vaping person. Don't get me wrong, I love the flavor of it. I just don't like the tickling in my throat when I vape it. That comes from the pineapple. I'm sure someone out there feels the same way. Well, on a scale from 1 to 10 on what it's supposed to be, it definitely tastes like you know, the pitcher. It tastes like the pitcher, basically. Um, flavor profile, uh, it's good, but not my favorite personal flavor profile. Like I said, I got them, they were extremely inexpensive, and, you know, just, just the nicotine alone was worth the price of the liquid, so. A lot of people don't think about things like that they see a mod that they don't like that's on sale for like ten dollars and they absolutely refuse to buy it man the battery sled is worth five dollars you know um the circuit board in it is worth more than five dollars you know it's just you strip it and use it for parts or something, you know? Jeez. <coughs> Here it goes. <coughs> so 
So it was a very coffee, coughing, choking, dry hit review. <laughs> but all in all, I'm actually quite pleased and surprised with Savage that, you know, they've done as good of a job on these as they have. So, you know, I would definitely recommend it, especially at the price that they're selling it at. I mean, it's a really good price. And the first time you buy from them, um, the first time you buy from them, you get, like, um, a little wheel thing that you spin, and you get, like, it usually lands on free shipping or something like that, but, um... Sometimes you get a discount. I think the first time you buy, you get a, a discount, like a deep discount. Um, so it's definitely worth it, especially just to, if nothing else, give them a try, you know. So anyways, that's it. Over and out. Catch you all in the next video.